it's Susan from Susan's Nursery. Welcome back to my channel, guys. Today, we're changing sweet little Avery and getting her into a beautiful little outfit. Um, I got my Christmas money early, so I was able to purchase some clothes and I purchased some boutique clothes from a dash of glitter and I thought I would put Miss Avery in one of these outfits and I'm going to put her in the purple romper or the gray background romper that has the purple flowers and has light and dark purple has some plum in there and some um lavender and then it has some white and some gray flowers has the has a uh, purple and lavender and the plum purple flowers on it too and then it has um some lavender leaves on it that has white mixed in and then it has like the peachy pink looking flowers on there as well and it has a little skirt that starts at the stomach it's made out of the same material and it just flowers out and has a piece of thread on it <laughs> and then it goes down in snaps in the crotch and then it comes with a beautiful plum purple vest that we're going to put on her a fluffy vest and then it comes with um or it doesn't come with but i put them with it some gray knee socks and then we're going to put on her, I've got three choices of bows, bows, um, I got this bow that is like, uh, shaped like a rose or a flower that has, um, lace and then tool behind it that has a little, um, pearl in the middle, or I have just a cream bow, or I have a flower bow that has um, three different flowers on it that are three different color purple. And, um, then I just have the conditioner I'm going to use on her hair. And then I just have her little brush here. Her little toothbrush. And we will start getting her dressed. But we'll pick, um, which bow we want to put on her when we get, get to her hair. So, um, I wanted to talk to you guys about this video that I seen this morning. So, first off, I was watching a video, um, by Belinda's Babies. Um, and she had mentioned a video by, um, Tori from, um, Tori's reborn babies she had mentioned um um a video that belinda had mentioned a video that tori had done and she kind of went over what tori said so i went over and watched tori's video and um tori's video was about um what does she's got glitter on her eye what does the professional mental health professionals think of reborn hobby the reborn hobby i'll get my arm out of the way so you guys can see um and um her experiences was positive she took her um she took her babies um and the office with her and different places she talked about different journeys of her um hobby and different um t 
tools that she used uh, her reborn spore um, and at what um, age she used um, her reborns for um, mental health. So I won't go over all that. What I did want to do is talk to you guys about um, my um, experience with the mental health um professionals that I have seen um that know that I do rewarding and and her journey is positive um so I encourage you to go over at Tori's reborns reborn babies I will put her link in the description and Belinda's as well and if you'll look under the title, it'll say more. And if you'll click on more, it'll drop down the description. So, um, my experience, um, I didn't start collecting until I was, um, an older adult in my 40s. Um, and why i really started collecting is i seen um i seen this beautiful real life baby on um a facebook pop up and what it was it was like the scammers that was showing you like a very expensive um uh, silicone doll but they were saying they were going to give it to you for like $39.99. Well, I fell for it, of course. <laughs> um, that was my first experience with um, Reborns. I fell for the scam. And I got a full vinyl, uh, I believe it was a 12-inch doll that had painted hair. And I was, um, well, I figured out it was a scam before I got the baby. Um, I'm just going to lift her up so I can put this, um, little vest up under her. And, um, I figured out it was a scam before I got the baby. So, that's how I kind of got into it is, um... I guess, um, remembering, um, remembrance of those times when, um, you had, I think I'm going to leave that unsnapped so we can see some of her little, um, her little, uh, romper in the middle. Um, remembering some of those times when my babies was little. So, I really wanted to reminisce about that, and, um, I was going through a hard time, um, my mom had passed, and, um, so, that's how I got into it. I seen, um, a baby on there, and, um, it was talking about um therapy and all this and I thought it would be a good idea and um so I started you know kind of researching it and um but I started with Ashton Drake's but I won't go into all that I'll just tell you um that um later on I was already collecting before I used my um, dolls as a therapy for depression or anxiety. Um, and she goes into her story as well. But um, I was already collecting before I um, went into, went, um, to using my um, reborns for therapy or for a therapy tool. Um, and really just, 
you know, I started using them as that, but I didn't have um, help with my um, professionals until I found this latest um, psychiatrist. So, um, what I did is they asked me, you know, they'll ask you what your interests are, you know, what's your hobbies, a therapist will, and if you have a good psychiatrist, they'll ask you that as well. So, I haven't, I haven't taken mine to a doctor's office, but I did, um, I think I'm going to go with this one because I think I like it the best of all, this one. But, um, I had never took in my Reborns to a doctor's office before, but I told them about them and showed them some pictures. So, um, they're all ooing and gooing over the pictures and, um, the psychiatrist actually came out with me and took my ticket, you know, that tells you. That tells the nurses, you know, when to schedule you and um, all that and for your next visit. And she was actually um, telling her about what I did and um, what I, that I collected them and that I had some pictures. And they were all just ooing and gooing over them. And now... Um, my psychiatrist kind of uses it, um, uses my, my hobby and my YouTube channel. I told her about it, told her about my channel and, um, my psychiatrist uses that, um, for, she uses it to kind of see where I am, if that makes sense. Because she'll ask me, well, how is, you know, how's everything going? You know, um, what's your latest video that you did? Or, you know, um, what did you dress your baby in? You know, what did you talk about? Stuff like that. Seeing how um, much I did the videos because it um, shows her if I'm actually participating in my interest. So, I mean, she has something to measure uh, my interests with. So, she uses that. Um, so, she is very, cre uh, she's very supportive of my um, hobby. And she actually, you know, they actually ooh and goo over my pictures. And my therapist, he was, um, or it was a, a man that was my psychiatrist, but that doesn't, or, Excuse me. No. Erase all of that. My therapist. Um, and I showed him pictures of them. Because you know they ask you your interests and your hobbies. And he was like wow. That looks real. You know I was thinking more on the lines of a, a doll doll. Like that you get you know from the store. Like Walmart. Um, but they're all really. Everybody that I've ever seen or showed um, my dolls to. Oh, except for a couple people. Um, I've always been amazed by them. How real they look. And they want to look at pictures. Or they want to hold them. You know, it's... Um, I've had good experiences. Um, especially with my psychiatrist. So, um... I know everybody doesn't have the same... Um, experiences with... Um, maybe a, a mental health care provider or a provider. Um, you know, and you're sometimes you might be scared to bring it up because of the way some people think of it. I mean, even when I was in the hospital for my mental health, when most of you know my journey, when I was, um, after I got COVID, I had to go to the mental health hospital. And I had to go about three times before I got situated. Um, 
And even there, when I told them what my interest was, my hobbies, they were like, really? You know, and I didn't have my phone with me then because they don't allow phones in like some places do, but there they didn't. Um, so I couldn't actually show them pictures of them, but they were really um, uh, amazed uh over babies that really looked like or reborns that really look like babies so um that's been my experience what i took back from it that it's um for my psychiatrist is a measuring tool for her she can um with my that's how we determine if my interests are still you know the same you know if i see that i'm not spending time in the nursery and i'm not doing that many videos um you know she takes back from that and says you know maybe we need to look at your medication or what we're doing so to me um it helps and i love that my psychiatrist takes that much of um, an interest in me that she when she sees me she remembers that I have a YouTube channel she remembers I have reborns she takes time to get to know her patients so she can do um, measuring their depression and their symptoms and stuff by their interest so um, that's what um, that is my um, experience with the mental health um, that I have now, it's not always been positive, um, uh, or my experience just with mental health, um, professionals hasn't been, um, successful, but it didn't have, it didn't have anything to do with the, um, reborn hobby, uh, I would bring it up, you know, they wouldn't say anything negative about it. They just wouldn't say anything um, to some of them that I have been. But the one that I go to now, my psychiatrist that I go to now, she actually encourages it. She says, you know, she uh, wants me to, um, if I tell her that I, you know, if I go in there and I say, you know, I haven't been in my nursery, haven't been doing my videos. She'll say, well, go in there a little bit. You know, just go in there a little bit at a time. You don't have to do a, a video or you don't have to do a long video, but do a little short video. Kind of give yourself that initial push and see if you'll, um, see if you'll enjoy it enough to stay in there. And if not, you know, give me a call. And we'll see what we can do. But she uses that um, to initiate, you know, kind of gives myself a push to do it, even though I'm not motivated or whatever. And she uses that to see um, about my interest. Because that's how, you know, they measure um, depression if you're doing things that you would normally do if you're doing them. You know, and, you know, with other things, as they measure it with other things as well. But that's one way she measures, you know, if I'm kind of doing good or if it seems like the medicine is not doing good. So, that's really what um, I take from it. Um, and I hope you guys enjoyed this um, little chat. I did, um, I do encourage you to go over and listen to Tori's story. It's, um, Tori at Reborn Babies. And like I said, I will put her, um, link in my description. And I'll also put, um, Belinda's babies in there too, because she, she come on, she, um, Belinda did say, um, she talked about you know um what tori said but i think she added a little bit to it i can't remember you <laughs> it's been this morning since i um watched it so 
you might want to watch both of them um those are really good channels both of them i enjoy them and um i enjoy everybody's channels so um i hope you guys enjoyed seeing avery get all dressed up in this beautiful little outfit doesn't she look adorable guys can you guys see her little headband doesn't she look adorable in this guys just adorable so um i'm gonna let you guys go because i feel like i'm mumbling <laughs> So, um, I hope you enjoyed the discussion, and I hope you enjoyed seeing sweet little Avery get changed, and we will see you guys later. Bye.